Our next guest uh, say investors can still find value in the turmoil. We want to bring in Calamos Investments Chairman and Global Chief Investment Officer John Calamos, along with Calamos Investments Chief Executive Officer John Kudunis. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. And Good we should point out to our viewers that this is a new thing. John Kadunas at Calamos. Congratulations. You've Thank you very you've much. Taking on the new role of CEO yes. of Calamos. I'm very excited to be part of Calamos Investments. Yeah. It's an iconic brand that's been around naturally over 40 years. And uh, to work with someone with such great integrity, uh, morality as John, and a track record of one of the best investors of our time. And I'm very excited to be part and grow. Uh, on, on a fantastic platform. Yeah, I, and I agree with you. I've been talking to John for a lot of years, and he is uh, one of the best investors out there. So you were the CEO of Mizu, you know, Mizuho, uh, yes. Mizuho. So your your operating role similar, building the business. John, you've been investing for a long time. Right. Uh, you've been a student of this for decades. So you're still going to be doing. Oh, oh yeah, very much. So I'll be able be able to focus more on the investment side of the business. Uh, and this is really part of my longer-term succession plan for the business. Uh, we do have a, a very uh, good uh, strategic plan going forward, so John Kadunas will help us execute that longer-term plan. So very excited about this. Excellent. Congratulations to you both. And this is not an easy market to navigate, so let's get right into it. We're expecting a lower opening today again, but the entire year, we began the year with the worst beginning of any year for the markets. I know we've settled from that, but how do you want to allocate capital today in this uncertainty out there? Yeah, I, think, uh, I think that we have a very nervous market, no doubt about that. Uh, but we're still in the, uh, the camp that we do not feel there's a recession coming. So uh, we've, you've got to manage this volatility best you can. Uh, I think, quite frankly, in my mind, there's more risk in the bond market than the equity market. Really? Because, I mean, you've got negative interest rates uh, in, a, in a number of places around the world right now. I think it's like five or six central banks have gone negative in terms of negative interest rates. What has been the impact? Well, uh, the, the impact, there's a bit of a currency war, as you know, going on there. Countries trying to get, get their trade better than ours, that type of thing. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the, the concern is really, uh, you know, the slowdown in the global economy and how that's going to affect uh, the markets uh, going forward. But, uh, but you know, I'm... I'm uh, I would tell investors don't panic in this kind of environment because, as we can see, one day up and down, up and down. It's it's a very, uh, very, you know, market that's very volatile. So, so your mandate, John Cadunos, is to expand and build on what has already been put in place at, at Calamos. How do you do that in the face of a of a slow economy when you've got the rest of Wall Street cutting the trading desk and and cutting, uh, still deleveraging? Well, I find that that's the best opportunity to build and expand on businesses. In my previous job in Mizuho, we started from nothing. All the other banks, the European banks and whatnot, were cutting back, and we went from nothing to being one of the top ten investment banks in the world. I see we already have a fantastic foundation. My experience is very much complement being at a global distribution bank. Fixed income is a big part of my background. So we are looking at to add a, red, a different products into our lineup at Calamos Investments. Well, what do you guys think about what's going on in Japan right now? I mean, you come from Mizuho, who obviously had a big stake in the ground there. The, the Japanese market is closed, but that has been really where the trouble has been. The Japanese yen, instead of going down, has been going up yes. uh, and really disrupting markets. Well, they're, as I said in the, in the program, in your program many a times, they're going to do, uh, Abisan and Kurodasan are going to do everything they can to stimulate their economy and bring back growth. All the way to what they, they did a couple of uh, times ago, which is going to negative interest rates. Why? Unfortunately, that did not work for them, and that's why this last time they decided to hold and wait and see what happens. But uh, they're not going to give up. They're going to keep at it, and we'll see what happens. So, so what do you think, John, in, in terms of allocating capital? I think like Japan and, and ECB and even here in the Fed, I think there's too much emphasis on monetary policy. The problem is fiscal policy. Right. And, you know, and I think that's what's being reflected in the election as well. What's our fiscal policy going to be? You know, the, the Fed, the monetary policy has done all it can negative interest rates right. and, and absolutely we, well that's why people are saying look these central bankers are out of ammunition so what do you exactly. want to see the next president do whoever that might be what's the most important fiscal policy that that person can put in place 
I think I think a tax program that makes sense for the United States. You cannot give uh, companies an incentive not to bring money back here. Uh, we want them to invest. We want them to build their businesses. And if you double tax them, you know they're not building their business here. They're building their business outside the United States. Right. So that's the incentive. That and real quick on, on the growth story, yep. where is the growth? Because you've been a growth investor, you've, you've bought technology, right, right. but technology is having a rough time it this is. first quarter. It is. What, what happened? Well, the, the market is so, you know, bifurcated uh, that way, and, and I think uh, it's, it's really a very selective market in here. Uh, going forward, but uh, I, I think you know we're continue to like uh, some of the technology area. But uh, what? Apple, you're right, Amazon. What? Uh, well, not specific uh, stocks, but uh, we still think the area still has uh, room to grow. So, uh, from that point of view, we're we're not saying no technology. You're still invested. Yes. Yes. John Calamos, John Kadun, it's good to see you both. Good to see Thank you. you so much for joining us this morning. Congratulations on on uh, your new job. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank you, we'll Maria. see you soon. Voters.